Hello, Nathan Wetzel with Airframe Components, and today's topic of discussion is service letter 87-18, and it pertains to 180s, 182s, 185s, 210s, 206s, 207s, the horizontal stabilizers, and what you're looking for is when the stabilizer is on the aircraft, you can go through and you can feel if there's any popping sound in the rivets and that around the nose ribs area and that'll tell you if there is cracked nose ribs or crushed nose ribs or any any sort of that type. The original nose ribs were a lighter construction and they're prone to cracking at the forward part of the nose rib there at the first rivet and if you squeeze this uh, you'll hear a popping sound and that'll indicate whether there are cracks or a uh, crushed nose rib right in that area. If you want to double check that, you can, with the elevators removed, you can look in with a flashlight through the lightning holes to verify whether there are cracks or crushed nose ribs there in the forward of the leading edge. It's best to do this off the aircraft. You can't gain access like you need to on the aircraft. So to do that, you'll have the horizontal pulled off, have it sitting on sawhorses or something to be able to open it up. Now to do this, you're gonna to have to remove the center section skin and then remove all the rivets around the, just the top side, just on one side of the horizontal stabilizer. And then you want to open it up and then in here, then you can gain access to the nose ribs and you'll want to look. You'll, once you see the cracks, you'll have to remove the nose ribs. Typically these nose ribs are your inboard most from the seam out are the nose ribs that are specifically have cracking issues. This is uh, typical. Uh, once you see cracks, uh, at times you can see pieces missing. On this particular rib, you can see where you can see the rivets head, rivet heads here where someone has actually made a patch for the missing material in the nose rib. On these ribs, uh, you, they look similar, but uh, your original ribs are 20 thousandths. Uh, the new ribs that you have are 25 thousandths. And when you install these in here, uh, they'll go right back in the same place. The only difference is you will end up adding extra rivets in between the existing rivets that are in the skin already. Once all your nose ribs are installed uh, at that point, then you are ready to start closing up and then working your way back out and installing solid rivets in all the existing holes that were in there.